we're back. We're back with Shama. Hi. How's it going, Shama? Good. Good. So it's the last stream of this wonderful week, and I'm really sad. <laughs> the last time you will see Shama, at least this week. Ever. I know. <laughs> she's leaving. <laughs> at least on the Adobe live stream for mobile illustration this week. And what are you going to be focusing on today? Well, today I wanted to show a little bit of animation, like just a very simple animation, like how mm. you would do um, something that like I've done in the past is stickers for, for iMessage. Yeah. And they could be stickers for anything, for Android or for whatever mm -hmm. you like to use. But that's like a fun, easy thing to teach, right. um, like a good way to start learning animation. So I thought I would do that. Yeah, I never even thought that I would have the chops to do that kind of thing. So I think you're going to empower a lot of viewers right now. Well, you will in the next two hours. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Super psyched about that. And if you guys are just joining us, go on and head over to adobelive.com. If you're not already there, that way you can experience the stream in all of its glory and you'll have access to the contest we're running. And you have a couple more hours. You have until this evening to sign up for it and enter it. All you have to do is make an illustration with the theme of summer using one of the mobile apps that we're focusing on. And I think you've been using Draw and Sketch, both yeah. of them? Yeah, I'm trying to use all of the apps. Cool, so Draw and Sketch specifically for this, and you will do a summer illustration, send it to us on Instagram or Twitter, hashtag Adobe Live, and you could win Creative Cloud subscription and a year's worth of stock images, 10 images a month. What? <laughs> 10 of you will win. That's a lot. You should enter. Cool, hello everybody. And before we start, um, I think, Ooh. do we already have the iPad on the screen? Oh, there it yeah. is. So this was the little drawing we did yesterday. Um, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested in knowing how to draw Shiba Inu with plant on its head, you can learn that in the previous video. Yes, watch the replays. If you're at Adobe <laughs> Live, you can see the replays really easily. And, uh, well, one thing, okay, so first I do want to show you guys, like, what some of these stickers look like, so you get kind of an idea. Um, let me pull that up in a PDF. Yeah, put a switch. one in chat if that Sheba's really cute. I would put a one in chat if I could. Can we switch to my desktop? Yep. Here we go. Oh, look at all those. Yeah, so these were some of the ones that I've done so far. And this doesn't actually show it animated um, mm. for that you would have to actually download them but normally these stickers are a dollar but I'm actually making them free for the, just for these two hours so free if you everybody. download them oh. <laughs> you, you can that? you'll get to see the animations and um, if you want to find them it, you would have to have um, you would have to have Apple like because mm -hmm. it is there are they are iOS stickers yeah. so that's the only thing I'm gonna look right um, now. but they're called warps w u r p s and also if you just search my name in the app store you'll find it's it's Shama Golden S H Y A M A you'll find um, all of the different stickers I did I think I made everything free just for these two hours so <laughs> that way you guys will be able to see you know what kind of an animation we're talking about okay. and it would also be cool to get your ideas like for what you think what you would want to see as a sticker uh, because I actually don't know yet what I'm gonna do today we're kind of doing this on the fly like we did yesterday yesterday mm -hmm. the dog with the plant was one of the viewers ideas yeah so. and it turned out so cute yeah and it was actually the first idea I think that someone said so mm -hmm. um, so yeah like be thinking about that and try to download the stickers or just check them out on the screen um, there's a few animations I can show you on my website too, just so you can get an idea for what kind of animations I use on these. Mm, I'm excited. Let's see. So on my website, um, and this is an Adobe My Portfolio website too. Yes. Um, I have added an extra page for some of my stickers, that's down here. Mm -hmm. And so you can see some of these animations. This is the kind of thing that I'm gonna teach today. Very cool, look um, at that. I love that panda. Yeah, so there's a lot of different kinds. These are all different packs. There's the word pack, it was the PDF I had opened earlier to mm -hmm. show you. And uh, so there's some word ones here and there this one with the llama and Obama, that's a part of a pack called Llama Diplomat and it's just like 
this one llama shaking hands with all these famous people. Oh, like, wait, <laughs> it's what? very esoteric. <laughs> um, and then the animals ones is called animos. It's like uh, just a bunch of crazy animals in weird situations, and all these words are from warps. And let's see. And then the little blob person is one called bups. Bups. <laughs> And uh, then these are all, these I did by hand, but I feel like I could totally do those in sketch now because that was like pre-sketch days. Yeah, you know? definitely. It looks um, like sketch watercolor. Yeah, totally. So I could add to that pack. Mm -hmm. um, and this one's called Cutie Poops, and there's like just different <laughs> cute poops doing lots of things. Oh, Cutie Poops. <laughs> I like him. So maybe seeing these will give you guys some ideas of like um, what you would want to see. And yeah. if you don't have any ideas, I'm sure I'll come up with something too, so. That's awesome. Way. So there's like part character design in here, part just asset creation. That's awesome. Yeah. So we'll do the whole process mm -hmm. uh, from drawing something and, and all the way to making it. Yeah. We have someone asking, does Photoshop work in iPad Pro? And that's kind of the beauty of these mobile apps that we're working on. So we have Photoshop Sketch and it's like a pared down drawing app that is like a little baby Photoshop for your iPad. Yeah, it's basically like the stuff that I used to do by hand mm -hmm. and scan in that yeah. you can do on the iPad instead now. Yeah. And just like send it over with one click instead mm -hmm. of scanning it. Mm -hmm. People love the banana. Mm. He's so sad. Yeah, maybe the food one would be a good thing to do because then I can pull that into After Effects mm -hmm. um, to do one of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys have like, uh, is there any particular food you'd want to see? There's already a lot in the the sticker pack there's like tacos there's burgers there's a lot more than what you can see here mm -hmm. um but if you send ideas and if there's one i haven't already done i will do it live for you guys gotcha someone says a dolphin eating pizza <laughs> so <laughs> random and rad <laughs> someone says we should add three more days now let's just keep it going yeah six days straight <laughs> that'd be crazy please no they're all so adorable. <laughs> Agreed. I feel like your foods are sad. I think that's what makes them cute, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> some of them are happy and probably should be sad, and some of them are sad. Yeah, like the melting <laughs> butter is like, that cool. Okay. It doesn't realize what's what's coming. No, not at all. Taco Cat, it's a good one. <clears throat> Photoshop CC or Photoshop CS6. So if you have the CC subscription, subscription it can talk back and forward with the mobile apps it's really cool someone says that llama will never stop surfing no it won't it's so <laughs> sad well i think i think what would be good to do really any all, what's cool is that all of these sticker styles are kind of perfectly suited to doing mm -hmm. in the adobe apps mm -hmm. uh, because there's like a great pencil brush mm -hmm. in sketch and like with uh, with draw with the vector app, I could do stuff like the oops and baller epic ones. Mm -hmm. Those were all done in Illustrator ah. with the blob brush tool, yeah. so that could easily be done yeah. with um, with draw. Right. Hmm. Are you I feeling more that. textury? You feeling more typey right now? Um, you know, I think I think I, I'm leaning towards doing one of the watercolor ones. Mm -hmm. um, Fun. Yeah, because it's also like a. Then I'll get to show more of the After Effects part of it. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, a word could be really cool, too. Hmm. So this is a panda cat. Mr. Panda Cat wants a panda cat. <laughs> uh, cow bank robber. So many good ideas. There were, yeah, I mean, I think I had a few ideas. I mean, do you use any stickers? I Not yet, know. but you need to download them now. Yeah, I know. I'm like so intrigued by this whole world of stickers right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a great thing for if any of you guys are probably illustrators and designers. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. a good way to make some a little bit of passive income on the side. Yeah. Uh, by having these things available. And then it's also really fun just to like bug your friends by sending them yeah. all these like weird stickers. Like, look at this poop. They're like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. I'm taking over my phone. It's awesome. Um,. Mm, so what are your mm. ideas? What are you interested in doing? A lot of things. Uh, there's definitely like a list of words that I had. Mm. Um, let's let's switch over to the iPad and mm. we'll just start sketching some ideas. Sounds good. Literally sketching in yeah. Photoshop. Sketch. Yeah, and I can I could do if there's time I could do one in both, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. You know what I yeah. have in time for. 
we've got about two hours, a little bit less than that. Okay, that should be good. That should be just the right amount of time. Sweet. Um, let's see. I still have. I got a little list. Right I have there. a list of like on. I didn't want to show you guys that because it's like too secret. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to look at this and see if there's one that. Okay, I had like. NBD for no big deal. That's a good one. Mind blown is one I need a lot. I think that the Apple added that as an emoji too, but it could still it could still oh, have it. Oh, what is it? It's emoji. useful. Do you know? It's like an upcoming one. Oh, okay. Of like a little emoji with its brain exploding. No. Because that's like a useful one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's do. I'll do I'll do NBD for no big deal. Sounds good. And I'm actually gonna do this one in uh, in Adobe Draw. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a little smoother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have any ideas for the food one, let me know, and I can do that right afterwards in Sketch if we have time to do a different workflow. Sounds good. I wonder how many of you guys in chat use stickers when you're messaging. Let us know. I personally, I think I've maybe downloaded like some free packs before, but it doesn't really come to my mind to use them. So if they're really <laughs> cute, maybe I'll use them. Well, they get addictive. The more you use it, the more you I'm will. sure. Yeah. So for this, the canvas size doesn't really matter, but I tend to use a square. Mm, that makes sense. Oh, someone says pineapple. That's cute. Oh, I've got a pineapple. Oh, <laughs> she's got everything. I've got a lot of things, so you'll have to just send me a lot of ideas yeah, and just then keep them coming. Whatever I don't already have, mm -hmm. I'm down to do it. Oh, none of your friends have iMessage, so you can't use stickers. Oh, sad. Well, I need to get them on Android sometime, but that's just like one more thing on yeah. the list, you know? Right. Totally. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna draw out of my head and like doodle some text. Sounds good. You're over 30, no stickers on your phone. <laughs> I'm over 32, it's <laughs> totally okay. Yeah, it's not <laughs> I still on have your like phone. the sense of humor of a 12 year old. There so. you go. <laughs> Ooh, ramen, agave, dragon fruit. Hey. Oops. Drew says, I'm over 30 and I use stickers occasionally. Good. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Watermelon. That's a good one. You probably already have it though. So what's your thought process in starting this no big deal? Well, I try to think of what's kind of a really unexpected thing that wouldn't necessarily be the first thought you would have uh, for no big deal. So yeah. I'm gonna do like a trophy that's got no NBD etched into it. Oh, that's such a good idea. Did you just come up with that? I did, yeah. yeah that's amazing. <laughs> Shama Golden, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the other stickers, there's definitely like a style that's kind of been established, so True. it will kind of make sense. <clears throat> there's already <laughs> there's already one oh wait, well not on there. But there's already one that's like an award that says awkward. Uh, so yeah. this would kind of go along with that. That's so good. Hashtag awkward. <laughs> Do you guys have any favorite sticker packs that you would recommend? I know a lot of the people I follow on Twitter um, have released really cute sticker packs. Yeah, are you guys interested in doing your own stickers? Is anything you've ever thought about? <laughs> Rob raises his hand very aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one. We got yeah, two. Alex, <laughs> Rob, you should work on some during the stream. Let us see them. Or he says, that's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> He's just chilling right now. <laughs> he already put his hard work in this morning. <laughs> he wipes his forehead. Ooh, Rick and Morty sticker packs. Yeah, totally. Are those on that app called Quid? I think I, think I mentioned this yesterday. But it's also another place where you can collect stickers, trade them. Uh, get rare ones. It's kind of like trading like cards. Like Pokemon? Yeah. Really interesting. Oh yeah, Trash Dubs by Sid Wiley. Those are crazy. 
so because you know I am doing I mean part of the point of this I want to show you guys animation even if you're not interested in stickers I'll teach you the animation so you can make like gifs that are hand-drawn yeah. so this will be a really simple one I'll probably just have like you know like a sparkle travel across the mm -hmm. trophy yeah you know mm -hmm. um, so we'll start there we'll make a Rufus sticker what would he be doing Kevin <laughs> Schneider Rufus is a celebrity. He'd be flipping his hair <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Nathan says he prefers stickers that you can actually put on things. Put them on a skateboard. Some people do. You mm -hmm. can still make these into a sticker, though. Oh, That's yeah. a thing. Especially if they're vector. It's yeah. really easy. Have you ever done that? I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite printing service? I've used Sticker Mule, yeah. but I haven't That's really tried anything to. else. Yeah. It was really cheap. And they, I ordered like 200 and they sent me 2,000, I think Whoa. on accident. That's pretty cool. It was cool, but I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> it was for like one event and it was kind of specialized to that event. Yeah. So now I just have a bunch of TwitchCon 2015 stickers. Yeah. Who oh, wants that one? would have been a cool giveaway is like a sticker pack mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, definitely. But you got to have more than one. Welcome back, Coco Intolerant. Patrick, are the stickers just for Apple products? How's that work? Well, the ones I do are because that's just what I know how to do, mm -hmm. and I use an iPhone, so it's what I use. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm interested in learning the Android too, but right now there's just a lot of things to learn, so yeah. right. it might be a while. But you can easily just put them on Android. Yeah, totally. If you learn, this process I'm teaching today is not unique to Apple. You could learn this and you, you would be able to put those stickers yeah. on Android too. Definitely. It's just a different process. Mm -hmm. Just a different like uploading process. Yeah, exactly. But you make the stuff the same way. The process I'm teaching is not tied to any particular mm -hmm. type of sticker. Yep. Oh, Stranger Things stickers would be really cool, especially for the new season. Yes, for my birthday this year, I just want to have a Stranger Things viewing party and watch the whole season. Sounds really? Good. <laughs> Force everyone to stay with me for my whole birthday. <laughs> Do I need a Mac or can I publish these from a PC? Oh, yeah, you can definitely publish them from a PC. You don't need a Mac to sell stickers in the Apple store. Mm -hmm. All you need is an Apple developer account. It's, it's $100, mm -hmm. but you will... I know it sounds like a lot, but you will easily make that back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, if you just make one sticker pack and you wait around, you might not ever make the $100 back. Yeah. But if you at least do a few, um, you know, I have six, but if you do at least three, yeah. I would guess that within a year, you would make the $100 back mm. easily if you're selling them for a dollar. Yeah, there you go. And that's pretty, that's a good price. Yeah, and you've got to promote them, you know, and get mm -hmm. your friends to buy them and send them to people and... There's a little bit of work involved. You can't just oh, put yeah. it out there and expect, right. you know, there's millions of stickers, mm -hmm. so you can't expect people to find it if you just put it out there, but Definitely. you have to do a little bit of promotion. Hmm. What's your favorite way to promote things? It depends on what it is. I feel like Instagram is really good these days. Yes. It's kind of where okay. everyone's looking for visual artists yeah. and designers, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. And just, like, the most random person that you know that you didn't think would be a good connection will just suddenly become a good connection someday. It's really crazy how things happen. Yeah, and you can, I mean, I've definitely, I've met people through Instagram that are artists yeah. I like, and, you know, just, it's it's good for, like, having connections beyond just, like, internet friends, you mm -hmm. know, that people that become real friends later. Right. Yeah, definitely. That, I mean, I've definitely gotten a lot of good advice on illustration and you know just part of like the business side of things mm -hmm. and what kind of brushes to use or what yeah. apps to use and yeah. all this stuff through illustrators I've found on on like Instagram and stuff. Yeah generally people are really kind and are willing to help each other. I've only experienced a good community personally. FC says they suck so bad at promoting their art. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it's intimidating. It takes to... a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. And you're like, really putting yourself out there. This is like a modern Bob Ross. Very calming. Oh, good. That's what I'm going for. Good. That was my goal before doing this. I was like, I need to channel Bob Ross. No way. <laughs> should make Bob Ross stick I should have done Happy Trees, though. Yeah. The happiest trees. 
Yeah, they're saying they love to watch Bob Ross. <laughs> Is there minimum amount of stickers for each pack that you know of? No, but I mean, I would recommend that you do 10 just because people will feel like, why do we have a whole sticker pack for mm. like three stickers? Yeah, definitely. Unless they're three, they better be really good, yeah. you know, if you're only going to have a few. Right. Hmm. Have you ever had a sticker pack that's like overwhelmingly too many stickers? Well, the Warps pack does have like 60 or 70 oh or something. Gosh. It's got a lot, but it's yeah. also the most popular one I have because oh, okay. the Apple featured it and... It was in one of the Apple ads. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. like, started from nothing. Like, started with just a couple people buying it here and there. I'd be mm -hmm. checking the stats and, like, you know, it's like, oh, cool, one person bought it. Yeah. But then <laughs> suddenly it became really big. Not suddenly. Like, over time, mm -hmm. it became really big. Yeah. Um, you have to have some patience with that stuff. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Drew, there is a Bob Ross Twitch channel that runs 24-7. It's amazing. I thought it used to only be on Mondays, but it looks like it's evolved. Anybody in here? Twitch? Twitch fan? I like Twitch. Mm. I like this because they're so small in format that you really have to be smart about how you design it. Yeah, you have to make it very legible. Mm -hmm. Not too many details can go in, which might maybe makes it quick to produce. Yeah, it is. it is quicker because of that. Yeah, Kevin, so mm. she's making stickers in uh, Illustrator Draw, but you can make it in any program. You just need to make it and get on a computer somehow. And then the goal would be to make it into an iMessage sticker pack that you can sell. Really, seemingly a simple process. <laughs> Happy little stickers. <laughs> Yeah, and I want to do a tutorial. I mean, I haven't posted anything. I haven't done anything on YouTube yet, but if you do follow my completely empty YouTube channel, <laughs> <laughs> which is just my name, um, I will eventually, like within the next month or so, post a tutorial on how to do the whole process. Like, this is how to draw them, yeah. but how to actually get it up on the App Store yeah. and all of that, because it's, it's not hard. Anyone can do it, but there's a lot of steps, so it kind of helps to have someone kind of yeah. hold your hand through that mm -hmm. a little bit. I believe that for sure. Even things such as making a Snapchat geo filter, stuff like that, like it's easy, everyone can do it, but there are some steps that you have to take. Right, it's a lot of configuration, so it's just knowing what settings to put mm -hmm. everything on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I love about Photoshop and Illustrator is you can save files in almost every format. It's really fancy. Yeah, well, what's nice also about doing these stickers in, in Draw is that since it's vector, you know, as resolutions go higher and higher or, I mean, in the future, I don't know, like stickers right now are kind of small, mm -hmm. but they could become something that could be really big yeah. or with, with these, you can actually pinch and enlarge them. When oh. you place a sticker in the mm -hmm. chat, you can make it big. Yeah. Um, so by having a vector, I'll be able to like up res it someday if I need to. Yeah. Or definitely. That's smart. Agreed. And it shouldn't be too big of an issue since devices are relatively small these days. Uh, but. But you never know. Yeah, and they are increasing in resolution. <clears throat> What's up, Khalid? Welcome. Coco says, how do you create a GIF I tried yesterday in Photoshop and got a little confused? Oh, well, I can show you guys that today. I'll show you how to make this into a GIF and a sticker, which are totally separate things, mm -hmm. but a lot of it overlaps, so. Yeah, right, it, it can get confusing to make an animation in Photoshop. It's like a lot of brain maneuvering. But once you get it down, you're like, oh yeah, easy peasy. You need a video about Adobe XD verse sketch. Why verse sketch? How about with sketch? <laughs> And people are looking for your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe someone can find it and post it in chat. Yeah, we can post it on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anna downloaded the Animos. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, da you should download the stickers now because normally they're a dollar and they're going to be free. You'll have them for free forever if you download it now. Yes. So. Do it. Just look for my name in the app in the Apple App Store. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, Evil Sarish just posted. If you have only a minute, there's a minute-long video on how to create an animation in Photoshop. That's really impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I got Rob Zell over here creeping over our shoulders. Ooh, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are a good project to teach animation and drawing because it's just like such a quick thing that you can do. Yeah, definitely. It would be really cool, you guys, if you made an illustration based off of Summer and sent it to us, and then you could win Creative Cloud and a year's worth of Adobe Stock if you have until 11 p.m. tonight, Pacific time, to get us an illustration. Make sure you use the mobile apps to make it and tag Adobe Live and you will be in the running. Judith says they've been listening to us all day in the background making and she's been making stop motion GIFs in P PS Photoshop. That's awesome. We'd love to see them. Make a summer based one, but make it in a mobile app somehow. <laughs> Adam says you're showing your design chops with the letter and composition you have. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Kerning, though. Well, actually, what's really cool about doing these stickers is they're so low pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just come up with them and they don't have to be precious or oh, yeah. perfect. It's not like mm -hmm. a portfolio piece or something. Yeah. It's just fun. But some of them have led to portfolio pieces. Yeah. Like um, the one that I did that was, it was on the screen earlier, that was like the water the flowers. That mm -hmm. was like this floral yeah. WTF, yeah. that became like a really elaborate painting later, oh. but it, it, it almost functioned as like my sketchbook, you know? Yeah, I was wondering, because I saw that WTF, and I wondered if Which you, one came first? <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe you did the full one first, and then you were like, this would actually be a cute sticker. No, the, the stickers are, are become like my sketchbook sometimes, because Definitely. some of them will turn into typographic paintings. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at, for your stickers again. <laughs> Because when I looked last time, they were still a dollar, but it looks like they've changed now. Yeah, I think so. I, I changed it just before this stream, and it looked like it instantly became free. Yeah. Warps. I need warps. I need them all, actually. There she is. Anybody else always forget their iTunes password? <laughs> that would be me. Where do I post the summer art? Alan, you posted on Instagram or Twitter. Yep, Evil Series has got you. Hashtag Adobe Live. And you can enter as many times as you'd like to uh, with different art. You can just only win once. So what I'm going to start working on the animation part of it right now. Um, and with this one, I, I'm going to keep this base layer. And there's no highlights on it right now because the highlights are what I'm going to animate. It's going to be like mm -hmm. a reflection moving mm -hmm. across it. Yeah. So I'm going to keep that layer and not mess with it anymore. Add a new draw layer. And then that's where I'm going to draw like the first frame of the animation. And then I'll, uh, I'll do a new, it'll be frame by frame, yeah. but it's relatively simple. Yeah. Um, with the iOS stickers, you can't do too many frames. I think like once it gets past... 10 or 12 or something it starts mm. to get a little big yeah uh, file size wise yeah. so yeah. that also is a good constraint to have to keep the animation a little True. bit simple yeah people say thank you for the stickers you're welcome yeah it's really kind that you're giving them away for free for this short period of time yeah <laughs> get them while they're hot yeah i mean some of those i've never had free so mm -hmm. this is like the one yeah or wait because they're only a dollar <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if you miss it, they are only a dollar. You're gonna be, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, sounds like there's elephants running around upstairs. Creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a highlight color. Mm. I'm just gonna put that slider the same color, make it lighter. Okay. Nice. Just make it easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, who knows? This may work. We'll see. <laughs> I think some of these animations are surprisingly forgiving. You don't have to really know. Right. <laughs> it doesn't have to be totally realistic. No, yeah. And if it is so few frames, it's mm -hmm. probably not going to be realistic anyways. Exactly. 
it's more of just like a fun movement yeah so how many of you guys in chat are gonna possibly release sticker packs in the future and if so what would you base it around maybe the theme of summer although it's coming to an end maybe you need to do a winter is coming winter is here sticker pack. a depressing sticker pack yeah oh <laughs> cold depressing sticker pack I like them highlights. <laughs> Let's see what the art director has to say. It feels too designed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> and did you set it to free in all countries? Just the US? Um, it should be. Why are some people yeah. Oh, interesting. Maybe I didn't it still know hasn't to changed that. over. Hmm. But it could also just take longer. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm. Sorry about that. The intention is there. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't remember that. It. I. I think it might be a delay or something. Mm. I'm not sure. Oh, Mel says they would do special events. I wonder what that means. Like a special sticker pack for cool things that are happening, like the Olympics. That'd be a cool one. Oh, birthday things, like hugs. Oh, gotcha. So, like, birthday pack, Easter pack, whatever kind of pack. What made you decide to make these sticker packs? How did that happen? Uh, well, I a long time ago I did them as a, for a company I worked at. Oh. You know, and then I just thought, oh, but that was, like, it was kind of stuck in that app mm -hmm. because it was a proprietary thing. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun with them, but it was like you had to use that app. And then when Apple came out with it, that anybody could design and submit one, right. I was really excited to use some of that, you know, use some of those stickers and add to them. Mm -hmm. And now I have hundreds of them. Oh. Yeah. Well, hundreds. I had hundreds of them, but I add, now I have even more hundreds of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> so many. And you can see how quickly you can make one. So it's easy to do a hun do hundreds yeah. of them, especially if you had your iPad with you and you were like just doodling. Just all the time. You know, when you're on the phone or board or whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> like yeah. on the train. Yeah. Kozaki says, I like it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> John, who is having trouble with it not being free, says it's free for two of them. Oh, okay. Hmm. But those two must be good ones. <laughs> so would this be able to go into your already existing pack of warps or would you have to make a new one no i could put it in the existing one it's already got a lot so yeah you might not need to i'm not i'm not gonna promise but <laughs> i will maybe put it in there mm -hmm. or i think it would be better for me to do a new one too um yeah why not yeah do you have any plans for other sticker packs yeah i Probably do a secret i do but i don't remember them right now oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. i'm always thinking of like what could be you know mm. Oh, John says that more and more are becoming free. So it just took a, a couple okay, minutes, Okay, that guess. makes sense, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just did it right before this stream, mm -hmm. so. Like, literally, right before. Nina says, I'm back, just posted my sketch image, hippo, and monkey pineapple summer. Oh, awesome, Nina. Can't wait to see it. I wonder if you posted it on Instagram or Twitter. Either way is good. Just tag it Adobe Live. Coco says, how do you get into them? I barely text anyone. Hashtag, no friends. Aww. <laughs> you gotta get out more. Yeah. Or just text random people. <laughs> just text random numbers and see who will be your friend. <laughs> April, I am amazed. Me too. Wow, oops. This little highlight that's going over top of it is much more in depth than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does a lot, like with very little work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like you can create a dimensional effect. Yeah. Oh, sweet Nina, you post on Instagram. Can't wait to see it. Oh, Mr. Panda Cat likes your design, Nina. It's awesome. 
Hey on Eric, I hate how some friends only use Messenger while others use iMessage, so I have two messaging apps. Oh my gosh, my parents love Facebook Messenger. I don't know why. I, I'm like, why don't you just text me? <laughs> I don't get it. But you know, at least they're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so is that gonna be the first frame? I was thinking it was, and now, you know, I'm always improvising, so oh. I think this may become a static part, and I may do like an even brighter highlight that actually moves across, mm. you know, because I kind of like this. Yeah, me too. Just as something that would always be there. I also just realized that there's this water on the table that I've been drinking, but my water is right here, so. Mm. My water. Oh, purpose. <laughs> Sorry. I hope neither of us catch the Black Plague. <laughs> yeah since this is I'm kind of now spending more time on this so I think it might be something I want to keep static and mm. just have like more of a quick sparkle move across yeah the thing. right so you mean sparkle as in like that kind of thing move across or yeah. like that typical little yeah it could be like a little star thing mm -hmm. yeah we'll just see what happens very cool you guys in chat are so supportive of each other it's awesome Congratulating each other on the awesome designs you're making. Someone is wondering why you don't use separate layers for highlights. I am. Mm -hmm. I can see that is the separate layer. Oh, I guess I did some of it on accident there. Oopsies. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? How, oh, that oh yeah, I guess I did the first little thing there. Well, actually, it's fine because mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, animate this highlight. This is going to be a static part of yeah. it. I will definitely use a separate layer for anything that's going to be animated because I'll have to turn that on and off, you know, in gotcha. different layers, and you'll see that. Yeah, same. right. I mean, I <laughs> probably will end up combining this, all this anyway. Someone says you look so relaxed while doing this. Do you feel relaxed? Yeah, it's pretty natural. That's good. <laughs> I know live streaming can be kind of, I don't know, scary at least at first, but then it's like, oh, this is normal. <laughs> I've gained Rufus's design skills by drinking his water. I don't know about that. I don't think anyone could ever get that. Oh, oh yeah, that's <laughs> how you get it. He just puts them in your head. <laughs> Shama likes cats. Is this true? <laughs> Is it true or not? <laughs> true or false? True or false. Shama likes cats. It's, it's true. <laughs> that should be a giveaway question. It's true. So before you did this on iPad Pro, would you make your stickers on paper first? Or just straight in Illustrator? In the early, early days, well, like the Animos one, that's all the crazy animal, the surfing llama and mm -hmm. stuff, that was just drawn in on paper. And oh. then I used Photoshop, well, I used Photoshop, and then I used After Effects, like for, there was like a waves in the background of the llama. Mm -hmm. That was done in After Effects with right. like a video clip. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So it was a combination of things, yeah. depending on what sticker pack it was. The vector ones I tend to do in After Effects. Um, although this one, since it's so simple, I'm not going to use After Effects. I'm actually just going to do it in Photoshop. Yeah, right. And that'll be good for people who are starting out, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, After Effects can be scary if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, it's it's not. I mean, I feel like it's very much, if you're comfortable with the other Adobe apps, it's, yeah. it's nothing yeah. that's too much of a departure from that. Mm -hmm. And I think you also have to kind of know a little bit of like video editing type of stuff because there's a timeline, keyframes. Kind of thing. Right, but you'll learn just the very like first baby step of that yeah. today that's in Photoshop because this part of Photoshop that's a timeline is also kind of related to ah, okay. After Effects a little gotcha. bit. Bayashi, it's like a slight overlap. Back. Gotcha. Mm, okay, see you later, Mr. Panda Cat. Yeah, catch it on the replay. Come check us out again. And if you guys aren't following Shama on Instagram, you should do so. Just Shama Golden, right? Yep. Shama Golden on Instagram. I think that's what I am on everything, basically. Mm. Lucky. I go by Kathleen Illustrated, but on Twitter that was too long, so I'm just Kathleen Illis on Twitter. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You learn by doing. Yeah, I agree. Oh, nice, Evil Cerise. 
got that link for us. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so that's good enough for the base, and I'll just start working on the part that will actually animate now. Oh, thanks, And guys. that needs to be in a new layer. I think I will combine, like, I'm gonna merge down that. Okay, so the highlight and the base are now one. Yeah, that, that base highlight, it's like, not that bright. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pick a slightly brighter color for, let's see, that's... Ooh, good luck, Adam. He's gonna go golf with his boss. <laughs> Better, I don't know if you should let him win or if you should win. It's for you to decide. Someone says, nice Instagram, Shama. Thank you. Yeah, on Instagram I have a lot more things than I do on my portfolio same. because the portfolio is like very cohesive mm -hmm. all the same kind of stuff mm -hmm. but on Instagram I'm more like experimental and I show all the different styles I try out yeah and... yeah I'll pretty much post everything I make on Instagram even if it's not that good but my portfolio is like you said a little more cohesive okay maybe this will be Actually, I want to just, this doesn't have to be realistic, so I'm going to add like another, like a bluish color Ooh, or something. cool. Yeah, especially on top of like an iMessage that has a white background. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome back, Dylan's Art. Someone asked how many people have entered the contest and no one answered, and Helen Helen says, no one, I guess I have more chances to win now. You guys better enter. You have a great chance of winning. Ten people shall win. Nice, so you're just long tapping, long yeah. pressing. Normally it's a little, like because I have those touches on, it makes it a little harder to yeah. see where I'm doing right. it, but mm -hmm. it's better for you guys because you can see where I'm tapping and stuff. Yeah, earlier in Rob's stream, I had the touches on and I was like, uh, I gotta turn these off. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing. Right, it makes it, the line's a little bit less accurate, but mm -hmm. it's easier to follow along. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have that that little star kind of move across the, mm. that groove, and mm -hmm. then maybe I'll have another one down here. Cool. So it probably would only be like five or six frames, maybe? Yeah, yeah we'll try to do that, just yeah. to keep it simple. Sweet. And actually, yeah, I could draw each one on a separate layer, because I can always combine the layers later. Mm-hmm. Would you combine them if you need them separate? Well, it depends because I don't know what kind of animation I'm going to do oh, yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I might do an animation where some of the stars get like bigger and smaller oh. and they might go across or I don't know exactly what it's going to do yet. Yeah. We'll figure it out as gotcha. we go. Cool. Cameron says, I need to get an iPad somehow. Somehow. Maybe you should sell some sticker packs and then you can buy one. <laughs> I'm really interested in getting an iPad Pro now, too, just from playing with them for the last three days. Yeah, I mean, I use the iPad for all of my work now. Mm, it's amazing. It's a great workflow. So you're going to be heading back to your home soon, right? I think I might be going to LA. Oh, yeah. never mind. She's off and around. <laughs> what is your favorite thing that you've experienced in San Francisco so far? Oh, I just loved meeting all the other illustrators here. Mm -hmm. That was like definitely the, yeah. the coolest part of it. Yeah, it's like a lifetime lifetime network that you've got now. Yeah, it was just cool that we got to spend some time together and mm -hmm. eat some good food. Yeah. Heard you guys went to Farmer Brown's, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, That's it was nice. really good. Place is really good. Got good fried chicken. Anna says, do you use AstroPad? I was thinking about getting it after the last stream. I do, yeah. Yeah?
Can you monitor uh, Adobe Live uh, Gus and let me know if you see something? You stun? <laughs> Are we back? I don't know. <laughs> so let us know in the chat if you can hear Houston. Hello. Houston? <laughs> yeah, we're good. You can hear Houston? Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Are we back? Okay, so you can talk. We can Thanks see some for screens. Waiting. But I <laughs> yeah. still need to get the camera back. So sorry, okay. guys, oh. we lost internet in the building. <laughs> we are on the backup line. So. We're in the dark net now. Okay. Yes, Friends. Loud and clear. Houston, we don't have a problem. Kind of. <laughs> yes. Do you have people in the chat hearing you, Stan? Yep. <laughs> They're yeah. like, we hear you. <laughs> okay. Can you guys see the drawing? They can see what you... Yep, yeah, they can see that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, they just can't see us, that's all. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <right>. fine. <laughs> see us. Yeah, see you know us. what we look like. <laughs> yeah, stared at us for <laughs> too long. So what I did um, just now was I created new layers for each frame, okay, mm -hmm. and you can see that. You can see these little dots, and they each have a different level of transparency. I actually tried to make it more transparent in the beginning and then less transparent so I could tell which direction the animation is moving. Yeah. Um, I can kind of turn them off and show you. Like, this is how I... So each frame has its own layer of this, just this very simple little highlight moving. Mm -hmm. And I think so I'm going to do five frames, so I'll do one more. Just slightly lower the opacity. And I'll add a new layer. It is kind of important that they're on different layers because that will speed up your process a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. We're getting the camera set up back. You guys, no worries. So since this is the last frame that I'm planning to do, I'm going to make that highlight just a little bit longer so it kind of has some bounce to the animation instead of all the lines just being, all the little dots being static. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like just like that. the squash, squash and stretch. Mm -hmm. Classic animation technique. But this is just the most simple iteration of that. Right. We've got some studio magic happening here. You guys just can't see it. Trust me. They're like, I don't believe this is live anymore. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Conspiracy. Yeah, Michael so and Chris are working magic. Adobe magic. I'm going to try to send this to Adobe desktop apps because now all the art is done. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we've got our internet back. It's circling, circling. And I am sending it to Photoshop and not Illustrator, even though typically you would mesh uh, Adobe Draw with Illustrator mm -hmm. because I'm trying to do the animation. There's no animation right. framework mm -hmm. within Illustrator. Right. And Photoshop is mm -hmm. better for that. Or mm -hmm. I mean, InDesign is the best thing for that. Oh, really? But You're For animation? Yeah. I mean, not, sorry, not in design. Oh. After Effects is better for that. I was like, my <laughs> Got you, I'm checking you. Yeah. <laughs> like, Making sure that. you're paying attention. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, for you guys, I think for learning how to make a simple GIF, Photoshop is the way to go. Yeah, agreed. Can I agree on that one? Nothing? Just circle, circle? Yeah, I'm not sure. We may be having a slight internet issue here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can add your internet. Perfect. Yeah, we need to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> People are 
Gus says, this trophy is perfect. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, it just like applies to our situation right now. No, no big deal. deal. You can see this on the screen. Just heads up. Oh yeah, good to know. Everyone's gonna know our <laughs> 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 our secrets. So we're not seeing GoPro. We're gonna just yeah, get the button. Andre says, in design for animation, my heart stopped. <laughs> Mine <did> too. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> good. For moving images in your portfolio, where does uh, where does saved as a GIF as well? Oh, oh maybe they're works. asking if it works to save as a GIF for yeah. your for your portfolio. Like, how did you do it? Oh, um, I did that. I think I did it in After Effects, and then how not did you in InDesign. Save it? <laughs> yeah, and then you saved it for your portfolio just from After Effects. Yeah, actually, well, one cool thing in Adobe, my portfolio is mm -hmm. that um, you can set a rollover image. I think that's what I did, or mm -hmm. some of them, some of them are on hover, and some of them are animating just by default. Mm -hmm. um, so you can set a, an image that is your thumbnail for oh. for the piece. Mm -hmm. If that's what they're asking. Right. You want to send it to Photoshop? Yeah. Let's try that out. Oh, heck yeah, Gus in the chat is saying, in case you didn't know, there's still time to enter our contest. You have until 11 p.m. tonight Pacific time. It's still quite a bit of time to get an illustration done. So you must illustrate something with the theme of summer. Then send it to us. Make sure you make it with the Adobe Sketch and Adobe... Um, Illustrator Draw mobile apps. You got it. Yay, it's a Got there. it. No Send big it over deal. to us on Instagram or Twitter, hashtag Adobe Live, and you could win a CC and a stock subscription. Ten people. Look, it's already animated. Wow. <laughs> so we had these layers. I kind of hid them, but those I'm going to do with tweening, so I'll show you that in a minute. But right now, um, I'll set up the frame by frame, I think. Or... Hmm. Maybe I'll do the tweening one first, actually. So I think this is going to end up being maybe 10 or 11 frames because um, you can see where my mouse pointer is. So I've got like these five frames of where this dot moves, but mm -hmm. I want it, I don't want it to just jump back. I want to like move it back one by one. Oh, so okay. even though I drew five, it's going to end up being like 10. Okay. Gotcha. So we'll go to timeline. Oh, InDesign has limited animation. You learned that at Max. No way. I wow. guess you can see that for like e-publications. You'll have some illustrations. Oh, for, for something on iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How will you, we know if we used the apps? We won't know, but we trust you. <laughs> There's ways. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a hit this button that says create frame animation. That's just easier for what we're gonna do. Because mm -hmm. by default, it's gonna be a timeline animation. Yeah, right. So um, first, I'm gonna turn off all of these layers on the first frame. And it may help to just, I'm gonna really quickly just name them. Or they don't have to say frame. It could just be one, Michael, two. Hi, Michael. Three, four, five. And I could have done this also in Adobe Draw. I'm just doing it now. It doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. And these are each of those little highlights. I'm also going to take the opacity up to 100. Mm -hmm. That also could have been done in Draw, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's something you got to remember. Sometimes I'll get done with an animation and the opacity is all messed right. up. Right, yeah, because you were like onion skinning it or yeah, something. Yeah, I jacked it up. So bringing that to 100 on each thing. Why don't you see the crazy chef? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. There's an earthquake in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what happened. Send help. <laughs> Whoa. If you guys get motion sick easily, uh, don't watch. <laughs> Up close and personal. 
All right. So I'm gonna start by doing the tweening animation and then go to the frame by frame. We'll see if this order works. If not, there's actually enough time for me to redo yeah. it the other way. So you'll learn a Definitely. lot of different ways. Um, in order to do that, all you need is two frames. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna start with, well, I'll do both elements, it's fine. Uh, people loved seeing that behind the scenes shot. Of the <laughs> yeah, we are in an The earthquake, studio. yes, we're on the fault lines. Mm -hmm. We really are though. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna make sure all the same layers are turned on on each frame. Okay, so now there's so much, so many options that you could do right now with this. Um, so I'm just gonna decide something right now. Yeah, inside Photoshop. Oh, look at that. It's high tech. Mm. Whoa. We're, we're <laughs> add on. You can download us from Adobe.com. <laughs> we're widgets. We are widgets, widget queens. You know, I may show you guys a bunch of different things um, just for fun. So like with tweening, you can tween position, you can tween size, you can tween opacity. Mm -hmm. That's all I know, but there might be more. <laughs> tween all the That's things. That's been enough for me. Yeah, uh, Yeah, so I'll show you a few different things. We're not gonna use them all in the final animation, but mm -hmm. we'll just experiment with a couple things. Gotcha. So the first one I'll do is now we've got those stars, the same layers turned on on every, on both frames. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just rotate. Let's try rotating. Ooh. We'll do like a 180, I don't know. This is, this is very, it's gonna be very experimental. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I'll rotate that too. Oh wait, I need to pay attention. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm looking at this. I wanna go 180. Oh, gotcha. so, I don't know, let's see if this works. I'm not sure if this will be the exact same thing. We'll try it. Um, then I'll do, t let, let's do two parameters. So the other thing I'll do is also, I'll shrink that. So there's like multiple things going on. Mm -hmm. that. Oh, something, you know what? I need to make sure it only does it in one. Cause oh, it was, okay. mm -hmm. it was doing it. In there one. is a setting here. That is, I need to make sure it's not matching the frame. Hmm. <laughs> We're like right over top of this gray box that you're making right now. Uh, <laughs> Create a new edge. layer, please. Can hmm. you just uh, switch on the iPad? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me go back. Yeah, usually I run into this problem. I just end up making another layer. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely one way to do mm -hmm. it. But for the let's 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 go a little bit less ambitious this time. Yep. And let me see if I can. Oh, I think the problem may have been the rotation or something. Oh, okay. We can definitely. Do I wonder if I should start with the tween. Yeah, Drew, this is the GoPro. It's our main camera now. Hello, GoPro. I keep looking at the other camera. Should look right there. Let's see if. Well, I think if. I don't know why it's changing it on the first mm -hmm. frame as well. Because I don't have match match layer across frames would normally do that. Mm. If you click that, does a dialog box come up? Yeah, maybe oh maybe this was matching. Mm -hmm. That was the problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is probably something you guys will run into too, so yeah. it's kinda good that we turn those off. We ran into it. Um yeah, I don't want to match the layer across frames because that's what was happening. I was like trying to have a different endpoint mm -hmm. and beginning and it was like creating that same yeah. frame over and over again, yeah. which is not an animation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove all these. And now we should be able to do what mm -hmm. I was trying to do before. Let's 
Let's try again. Try, try again. Yeah, I'm just gonna do size only. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> do, do, do. Thanks, Dylan. That's really nice. Hmm. That is still matching that. Whoa. <laughs> Here he is. Up close and personal with the art director. Yep. Hmm. I will have to get back to you guys on what is happening right now. Oh no, it's still doing it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's still matching it across the frames. Oh and no. this is definitely something I've run into, but mm -hmm. um, we could create a new layer for each frame and do it that way. It's yeah. just not going to be tweeny. It's all right. Don't get too Let, fancy. Let's start with the other method, and then I'll come back to this, and I okay. bet we'll figure it out by then. Sounds good. So the other part is super easy. It's already all the work is basically done for mm -hmm. it. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn on frame one. Oh, interesting. Why is the opacity down? That's weird. That's what I always run into. Because <laughs> the opacity is at 100%. Oh, maybe because I brought it, because maybe it was lower in draw, mm -hmm. so it sends it like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. maybe. Well, That's a good point. I can hack that. I'll just like double it and merge it. Hack it. A bunch hack of times. Hack it. Hack it. <laughs> Rob, I don't need your sass. <laughs> Someone says life is an accident. Yep, we make accidents. Yeah, I'm going to make all the mistakes so that you guys know how to handle it when they happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just by doubling those. So when you do it, you should do get the opacity to 100 within the draw app yes. and then bring it in. Mm -hmm. So put it back to 100 before yeah. you bring it in. And then you won't have to do this stuff. Right, right, right. But this is easy, but still, it'll just save you time. Can we log into your iPad? Yep. Perfect. Got it. Okay. Now we've got everything with 100% opacity. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got, okay, the first and last frame. So we'll start with this one and we'll add uh, the first mm -hmm. frame. Let me turn that off on here. Okay, good. It didn't turn off on the first one. Yeah. Yes, this is we a, like. Yeah. So then we'll add frame two. And now you can already see that start to move. Mm -hmm. And we'll go frame three. Make sure two is turned off, then turn on three. You can test that. Then four. This is the best part of animating. It is. Actually. It's like you see it to come to life for mm -hmm. sure. Steven says, hello, Shama. Hello, Steven. <laughs> Hello, Steven. <laughs> okay, and then frame five. This is the last one. There you go. Uh, and so now you can actually test it, but when it's at zero seconds per frame, that's very fast. Very fast. So we're going to probably want to slow that down to like 0 0.2, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put this forever just so that because we're going to make a GIF also as part of this, just to teach you guys that. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be stickers, it can just be a fun GIF yeah, that you make. Totally. Gus says, this makes animating seem pretty easy. It is pretty easy. It is. This is really all it is. See, it's already mm -hmm. animating. Look at that. Yeah. And, well, we can easily make these stars kind of turn on and off too, the bigger stars. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, that could be cool, just have them like blinking. Yeah. I'm curious if I make this smaller. Okay, it does do it across mm -hmm. the whole thing. So what we'll do is just turn that. We'll, we'll move those too, if that's possible. Let's see. Start here. Good. Cool, it does yeah. move. Yay. <laughs> so then just move it a little more doot, doot. Boop, boop, boop. and then go here test that one more Ta -da. 
that's basically it. And then I will, I'll test that, and then I'll do the same thing with the other one. So fancy, Shama. <laughs> no it's a little deal. bit crazy. It's like not a very realistic animation, but it's fun, and definitely. it's it's for stickers, and it's gonna be so small that yeah, definitely. That's why I like doing these because they're not so precious, and mm -hmm. there's really no wrong way to do them. Or is there? No, there's no, not. No, there's not. <laughs> I mean, I would challenge you to find the wrong way to do them. I'm going to make, like, anti-stickers. <laughs> They're just so weird. So let's try to do something else with this one. Maybe I'll actually start it further down, because we're kind of moving all the reflections mm -hmm. this yeah. way, or that way for you guys. <laughs> so Stage I will... Left. I'll start it back down here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... This one, hmm. yeah. Then we'll just move it over. There you go. So you kind of be in step with the other highlight. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, one more. Almost there a completed go. animation. Yeah, so then what I'm going to do is, this is already cool the way it is, but I think um, it could be good to have it reverse back and forth so it's truly seamless. Oh. So this will be like as if a light was going back and forth in front mm -hmm. of it or something. Mm -hmm. So I will just select all these and... If you hit that, that will duplicate them, mm -hmm. but don't unselect it while it's still selected. Mm -hmm. uh, then you go to reverse frames. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, That's and now cool. you have forever on. Like, mm -hmm. see right here, I said forever. And, you know, pick the time that feels right mm -hmm. on each frame. And if you, if you pick the wrong time, you can always go back like this, highlight everything, and then make a blanket change to the... Right. The pacing of the GIF. And now we can see what this looks like. That's the final. Love it. <laughs> what do you guys think? No big deal or a big deal? <laughs> Somebody asked what does NBD mean? It means no big deal. No big deal. Pas de problem. So now I'll pause that. Whoops. And I don't think, well, we don't need a background for it, so we can turn that off. Because if we're making a sticker, so because I have the background on in every layer, I what I did right now is shift click the first and last frame, mm -hmm. and I'm going to turn off the background. Right. It so might now, have even worked if you just clicked the first one, maybe. No, it it don't because oh, I had uh, oh, yeah. I had match frames turned mm -hmm. off, so um, it would have only done one frame if I just mm -hmm. clicked one. So now we've got like a clear background. So cool, no with big a deal. Sticker. Yeah. And if you're, there's, okay, now we're going to export it for two different purposes. So mm -hmm. if you want this to be an animated GIF, uh, if you want it to be a GIF, you may actually want to have a background because there's a sort of halo that happens mm. around GIFs. So this will probably have like, it's called a mat. Yeah. And uh, Illustrator, let, I mean, Photoshop lets you pick the mat when mm -hmm. you export. And, um, if this is gonna go on a website with a white background, um, you can just pick a white mat and then it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But if you want it to work on multiple backgrounds, you may wanna just give the whole thing like a solid background and you can do that by selecting everything, click, you know, shift clicking, like I said, and then adding like a overlay onto the background layer or something, you know, to add that color. But for today, I'm gonna just do clear backgrounds. So gotcha. if we are exporting this uh, as a GIF, then the way I do it, which there it's kind of the old way. I don't know if like you guys might have like a new way to do this, but I actually still go save for web. Mm -hmm. No, I do um, too. Even though you can go quick export too. There's like a different, there's like export as. Mm -hmm. But this one just um, gets you what you need, especially if you've made gifts in the past. Yeah, I've been doing this forever. So this is just the way I do it. Right. Um, it's on JPEG by default, but I'm going to go GIF and it may take a little while because my file size, I was actually drawing it like 3,000 pixels wide. Yeah, it was big. <laughs> um, but like typically we're not gonna want a GIF to ever be that big. So I'm going to change that to like 500, whoops, 500 pixels. It'll take a minute. 
Okay, and you can, I think you can, oh, the preview's in, in the browser, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> um, so here's the mat I was talking about. So if you know right. what color your background's gonna be, you can pick that mat. Mm -hmm. um, anim oh, here, this is where you test it. You hit play, play animation, mm -hmm. and then you can just make sure you're happy with, because this is gonna convert the colors a little bit to be web safe. And, right, definitely. Um, and I think a really good way to preview it too is if you do preview it in browser, because that's how fast it's actually gonna show up. Right, because it's a little bit faster in browser, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Then it shows up here, because it's kind of processing. Yeah, I always think point two is like kind of slow, but then I see it in a browser and I'm like, oh, that's really fast. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This will probably yeah. be fast and we have to adjust it, but you get the idea. Um, so I'm going to save it and we will test it in the browser so you can see how that Perfect. happens. I think, uh, and also if you want the file size smaller, I think we could probably get away with 64 on this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's totally fine. Not many colors in that bad boy. And you can even go individually and change these colors in here mm -hmm. if you want to if you're not happy with like one of the tones it yeah. picks like if you want to go really low in the number of colors mm -hmm. you can like yeah. spend a lot of time on that stuff yeah i usually do like if there's only three colors in that illustration i'll like delete all of them except for those colors yeah see so i even went down to 16 and it's okay there's like a little bit of mm -hmm. anti-aliasing that you're losing yeah that's making it look a little more um jagged at the edges yeah, right so maybe we'll go to 32. i think yeah. that's perfect that's good okay and that's only 99 kilobytes, so it's very small. Oh yeah, super small. Um, and this is not for stickers again, this is just to make a GIF mm -hmm. that you can use on a website or anything. Yeah, put it in your emails. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, send it in your email signature. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm just going to save that. Uh, let's see, we'll save it just on the desktop somewhere. And we'll call it MBD. Make sure you're saving it as a GIF file. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you'll know because you won't be able to hit play, you know, in True. that earlier screen if, yeah. you, if you don't have it. And yeah. it's going to have a white background. Sometimes PNG will be selected automatically. You just got to change that little drop down. So now let's test that on the desktop. Oh, it's already there. Um, we'll just bring it into the browser. And to do that, we can just drag it like that there so now you can is. see it look at that it looks so good oh it's interesting how chrome shows like the checkerboard pattern mm -hmm. right because <laughs> i don't think safari does that anyway now you've got a gif and now i'll show you the other way to export it for making it a sticker mm, cool nbd nobody deletes <laughs> <laughs> it can mean whatever you want it to yeah, be yeah right so now we'll just go back to this file and then uh, I think we can go, what is it, layers to files. Hmm. There's many ways you can do this, so I'm trying to think of what's the best way. Hmm. Quick export as PNG. I don't think that will do the frames, right? I think save for web edit. Are you trying to save this? Save it as multiple every, oh, sorry, I should explain mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Yeah. So every uh, frame that we have, like see these frames in the timeline, mm -hmm. the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. those are gonna be each a separate PNG file. That's gotcha. how you do stickers for Apple. Oh. I think it's probably the same for Android too. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they can support GIFs. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I think there there's definitely a way to do this. Okay. Frames create. You can create a new layer for each frame. That's one way to do it. We're moving around all over the place on screen. Oh. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> La oh, layers to, oh yeah, okay. So I think that's how I've done it in the past, mm -hmm. um, is that I first go create a new layer for each frame. Oh, okay. There may be a quicker way to do this, but I think this is just how I've been doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So create a new layer for each frame. It may take a second. Did it? Oh, wait. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, maybe I have to hit play. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm. Create. Go to. Hmm. 
Let's try a different way. It says export as has that option. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Perfect. Um, we'll go PNG. And... Export all? Export all. Will that do the frames? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Coco, no problem. I know. I haven't done it this way before. This is the best Thanks part for about waiting, guys. Yeah, about oh. being an artist. Oh, that's the canvas size. We don't want to do that. Figure it out as you go. <laughs> hmm. I don't know that this could... Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that's the way I've been doing it. Mm. Um, I think there's another option. Flatten frames into layers. That's what I needed to do. Mm. So, yeah, because we've got each frame includes multiple layers. So mm -hmm. we want to flatten those layers. Okay, now we have them. And I'm going to just take all of this old stuff and put that in a folder and just kind of put it away. Easy peasy. Yeah, we're gonna make that go away. And yeah. now we have all these frames. Mm -hmm. um, each frame is its own layer. And I think I'll just, um, can I delete that? Oh, it has the button. Oh well. So now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says they only use Premiere Pro and After Effects. Can they do the same thing? Yes, you can. Yeah. After Effects has a export frames as mm -hmm. PNG's option. It's actually a little bit easier, mm -hmm. but I just figured you guys might already know Photoshop more, so right. that's why I'm starting here. And mm -hmm. it's, it's such a simple illustration. Um, and something I do sometimes is if I'll have like the Wacom tablet, I'll add to this as I'm as I'm seeing how the animation oh, works. Mm -hmm. I can kind of go back and forth, but you could yeah. also bring it back into the iPad and draw. Gotcha. And make changes if mm -hmm. you weren't happy with mm -hmm. the animation. Yeah, that is a nice thing about using the tablet. You can just quickly get in there. Maybe you just use AstroPad. Who knows? Oh, uh, quick export as new view from layers. If the quick export is PNG, oh, that doesn't do layers. But there is there is one. <laughs> we'll find me. it. Um, that is to save each uh, layer as a separate mm -hmm. PNG. Coco and Taller, and I'm excited to see what kind of animations that you make. Send them over. You went to see. Oh, do you need me to turn it on? Two v two. We already tried export as, right? I wonder if now it would work for layers. Hmm. Layers to file. Yeah. Where is that? <laughs> Tell us where it is, chat. That's what. Oh, I should just go to help and do layers to files because that's what I've done. There we go. Export layers to files. Okay. <laughs> yes. Use help if ever in doubt. Oh my gosh. Um, I always am using help. When you're under pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just lazy. Okay. Export <laughs> layers to files. This is what, this is the easy way to do this. So you can like figure out where you want this to go. I'm going to put it on desktop just so it's easy to find. And we'll make a new folder called MBD. No big deal. And that's what we're, where we're going to put all of these. Um, I'll call that also sticker. Hmm. So this is what you would do if you want to turn this into a sticker. Yeah, and let me actually, because mm, it says visible layers only, that's a good way to do it, is like turn off whatever is the source files and uh, then turn mm -hmm. on all the frames. Mm -hmm. So I'll actually just do this again. Um, really quickly, I'm going to turn that off and turn on every frame. Ah, uh, gotcha. Because this will be an easy way to just isolate those. Mm -hmm. So then we went to edit. Uh, crap, where was it? <laughs> <laughs> where did you uh, export? Layers as frames. Mm -hmm. What, so it was edit export? It might be a layer. Oh, la here we go. Export layers oh. to frames. File export. File export. Layers to files. 
-hmm. And now we're ready. We've got um, got the folder already made on the desktop. And call it MBZ sticker. Yeah, you just gotta figure it out as you Visible. go, Arthur P. Yes. Sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> What's up, Rocky Rourke? <laughs> Okay, now I've got transparency turned on. I don't want to trim the layers because that would actually cause the animation to jump around because Ooh. every, uh, some of my layers have different dimensions mm -hmm. because of the, the star moving around oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, right. Um, so it's not necessary to do that. And now I'll run that, I think we're ready. Run, run, run. Coco says you'll use the hashtag when you finish your animation so that we can see it. Please do. Seriously. Yeah, it'll just take a minute because this has to process each of those layers, but mm -hmm. that should show up in my... There we go. Look at them all. Those are all the frames. Mm -hmm. So you'd be able to drop this directly into Xcode, you know, when you're ready for that, if mm -hmm. you're going to use this in that way. Yeah, it's already numbered too, which is really nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and see, they just, they just came through. All right, so now you know how to make a GIF or a sticker for mm -hmm. an iOS messaging app. Uh, is there anything else you guys would like to see or any questions you have before the end of our stream? Yeah, let us know. We've got about 20-ish, a little less than 20 minutes. So please, if you got any questions for Shama regarding... <laughs> please. <laughs> hashtag please. Uh, regarding this animation or just graphic design, illustration, freelancing, you name it. She's got the answers. Nope. Yeah, and if not, I'll just keep drawing. Yeah, if not, then you'll have to just tolerate that. Yeah. Which is a great thing to tolerate. <laughs> Maybe she'll pull out another dog with another plant. Oh yeah, we could go back to that project, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah, you could show, um, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, on. I just need to figure out how to get it back onto here, but I know one way to do it. It may not be the best way, but I could just save it in my camera roll and mm. then airdrop it to yeah, the computer. Definitely. But there may be a quicker way, but that's also super easy, so. <laughs> Steven, um. we are not leaving yet. We've got a little bit of time left. And then Rocky's on next, so you should hang out for that too. He's back there and he's saying, yes, please stay. <laughs> so I've duplicated this because I was like doing an experimental version. Let's see. Experimental version, huh? Oh, but there, I think I didn't end up changing it that much. Oh, what it is is... Um, I'm gonna, well, I'll show you in a minute. I'll, okay. well, let's save this to the camera roll. Oops. Are there any sites that you use to get inspiration or ideas? Well, I definitely use Pinterest. I mean, I'm sure you yeah. guys use that too. Mm -hmm. I use it a little too much sometimes. You get like stuck in oh black gosh. holes. I've seen everything on Pinterest, literally. Right, there's almost like a Pinterest style. Mm -hmm. You know, like that looks so Pinterest. Yep. Like that illustration is so Pinterest. Yep. I know, totally. But, yeah, I mean, it's like everyone kind of copies everyone a little bit, mm -hmm. but that's like yeah. the bad side. But the good side is that I think I definitely do find solutions sometimes when I'm like stuck and oh, I, yeah. I'm like, what kind of type treatment could I use for this? And it mm -hmm. kind of like just shows me possibilities of yeah. different directions you could take yeah. things. And color, it's great for color inspiration actually. Oh yeah. For sure. Uh, Alan just posted their summer drawing. Sweet. That's awesome. Anybody else working on the contest, you should send them over. You have until 11 p.m. tonight, Pacific time, to send over your summer inspired illustration made with either sketch or draw, both at the mobile apps that we're focusing on. Um, tweet them or Instagram and hashtag Adobe Live. You could win some cool stuff. Well, we could go back to we could go back to this one. The only thing I need to see is if um, air, let me just test AirDrop really yeah, quick. Sure I works. use AirDrop a lot uh, because too. I go back and forth between my laptop and the iPad, and it's just super easy to mm -hmm. just send something that way, like back and forth. Yeah, I agree. Or, or even like reference images or anything. Yeah, I used to email myself a lot, and I'm like, this is really annoying. Yeah, that's definitely not <laughs> <laughs> not the quickest way to do it. No. <laughs> Uh, when will Adobe Live be doing the next live stream event? I believe two weeks. Hey, Gustus Martin, when's the next live stream event? August 22nd to the 24th. 
Ooh, motion design and video. So if you guys are interested in this slash animation, which we're working on right now, come back on the 22nd through the 24th and we'll have more live goodness for you. Well, airdrop does work, so we can definitely yes. do that. Cool. <laughs> so I will show you guys how to do, go back to the assignment from yesterday, the project from yesterday. The assignment. <laughs> the homework. <laughs> and um, do we have, yeah, we've got. You need your desktop. Well, I need to go back to the desktop. Cool. Hey, Chris, can we get the desktop? Thank you. So I've got our dog um, our on dog. one. <laughs> My dog? <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. You guys should give him a name. Ooh, Baxter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just like make this into a seamless pattern. So w what I did was after the show, I like went back and like cleaned up a little bit of the illustration. And I also added a watercolor wash background. Ooh. So this is not going to be a seamless pattern because it's watercolor, so some edges are going to be darker than others. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you how to make that seamless while still having the texture. Mm -hmm. And this is how you can make like desktop backgrounds or, you know, any type of seamless pattern for textiles or mm -hmm. your phone wallpapers background. or your phone or anything out of your art. Um, so first, what the first thing I did was I flattened every layer. That makes it easier. You don't have to do that, but mm -hmm. it's a quicker way to do it because otherwise yeah. you have to offset each layer individually. Gotcha. And you should save that as a new file, not over. Yeah, don't save over when you're flattening uh -uh. something. <laughs> so I'm going to go filter, other, offset. And you're about to see what I mean about things not matching up. Cool. Um, so see it automatically yeah. does it. And you can see that little, um, I think, yeah, you guys can see mm -hmm. that subtle thing where it doesn't quite mesh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. You can actually fix it directly in Photoshop, too. You could probably, like, in this case, you could, like, blur it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or so there's so many ways you can yeah. do the same thing. Um, but we're focusing on mobile. So I'll, I'll show you how to pull it back over there and do it. Um, and, like, you can change this slider. This is basically how much it's moving on the horizontal or vertical axis. Gotcha. And since my file is about 3,000 pixels wide, if I go, I think like you want to go about half is a good, mm -hmm. it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect, but like around half is a good place to do this because now you see you're, we're bringing all that stuff that needs to be fixed back to the middle. So now it's there. Um, and it's important that you have wrap around checked, like gotcha. this, this box that I'm pointing to right now. And you don't want, you don't need any of this other like repeat edge pixels are set to transparent. Mm -hmm. That You don't want that to be checked gotcha. for this. If it were like an actual pattern that already reached off of the edge, would you want repeat I actually edge don't pixels? know in what situation you would want that. Okay. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> apply to anything I do. So gotcha. I'm sure it's like for some person who's doing mm. something very advanced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for, for these, <laughs> yeah, these are easy. So just wrap around. Because uh, if you don't wrap around, it's just going to move it right off the canvas and there'll be blankness. Oh. But you want to wrap, because we're wrapping around in two directions. In both the X and Y direction, we're wrapping mm -hmm. like his feet are coming back up the top. Mm -hmm. And then we're also sliding it again. And like you can mm -hmm. see what's happening. Gotcha. So we're creating an empty area in the middle. Um, so that's good. And I will save this as a PNG. Um, click export as PNG. Coco says, Michael and anyone who fixed the quick problem, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so today I'm going to save it as Doge. Oh. So I know it's a different file. That's its name. That's his name. One. The biggest stumble? Yeah. Mm. It's a tough one. You guys stuck. You guys stuck Thanks through it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we supposed to do besides chill? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna freak out on you guys. No. All right. So now I'm gonna use AirDrop to send this over. Um, and just tap AirDrop here. Look at all these people that are hanging Ooh, out with us. Who is it? Send it to everybody. We got Michael, we got Michael, we got Shama, Paul. Paul's Sometimes it's hard when everyone's just like iPad, 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 you don't know who you're sending mm -mm. it to. They just send it to everyone. Okay. Ever do that in public? <laughs> For fun, files? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing to do. <laughs> just send someone your art, like a stranger. Yeah, or like if you get this, raise your hand and then you get to see. It's a good is. way to get your work out there. True. <laughs> Here, have this. 
All right, so now am I on? We need to put the iPad. Oh yes, Can iPad we go to the iPad screen. Merci. So now I've got this in my camera roll that I just mm. pushed that over mm -hmm. from Photoshop, and I'm going to go back to Sketch where I created it, and let's see. I could I could even I could bring it right into this file, or I could make a new one. Um, Let's just bring it into this file because I've duplicated this, so it's okay if I even delete the old layers. Mm. It's important to always duplicate your file. It's kind of like saving as, yeah, like you know, like in version. Photoshop, I would save as all the time so right. I don't ruin something. Because you can undo, but I don't believe that you can undo once you've closed the file. I yeah. mean, just like in Photoshop or yeah. any desktop. I don't think so. So now I'm going to add a new um, image layer. And I'm able to draw on the image layers, right? Even if I'm not, it's fine, because I can just draw on the layer. It. Yeah, we'll try <laughs> it. We're going to learn with you. Image layer on my iPad. Although I'm thinking you might be able to go back after you've closed it, because you can always have that timeline feature. Like, you can scrub through. Oh, really? Pretty sure. Either way. OK, what is? Oh, OK. This is <laughs> looks a little confusing, because it's behind that layer. Oh, right. Wrong layer. You know what? I think it would be better to just open this as a new file, because mm -hmm. now I'm going to have to like match that exactly. Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, and I can't see the whole file right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, OK, we're going to try a different way. Go back to projects. And let's see if I can do a new. Is it possible to open it? from a file, like to open a file. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, okay, let's go back to the old way then. <laughs> we can always resize this back. Oh, thank you, Evil Series, for posting Shama's stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> do you get paid for sharing links so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> you should be. It's a pro. Okay, I'm just gonna do this carefully. And I'm going to match that. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're like a pixel off, so let's get that right. If you guys are interested, go follow Shama on Instagram. Where else? Behance? I'm on Behance. On the Behance. Nobody knows about it, but I am. Behance. <laughs> <laughs> Behance was born this morning with Rob Zilla, who brought Beyonce into the world. Hmm. Let's see. I had it closer first. Oh, darn. I think there is a way, that <laughs> there is an easier way to just like bring the file directly back and forth, because I know I've seen it on another one of the mm. tutorials, but we'll show you this way today. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Evil Series found your bee hands. Oh, thank you. Your hidden bee hands. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Like a pro. <laughs> Oh my god, it might be still one pixel off, but I think this is, it's okay to just show you guys how it's done. Mm -hmm. um, because we only have about 10 minutes left anyway, oh, yeah. or five minutes. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what you need to do is line that up here, and then I'm going to just smooth out that, like you can see those four corners mm -hmm. there. So I'm gonna pull this, I need to eye drop the color. And I'm gonna paint. Oops, size is a little too small. Oh, over okay. that. Paul will help you with fitting things to the right size for next time. Oh, you can create a square canvas and then import that image as image layer and fit to view. That was what I needed was oh, fit to view. Yeah. Dang it. Well, at least you guys know how to do it now. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll show you the the part where you just smooth this over. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing the hard part for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all all I'm doing is just to like paint over that to make this feel more organic. Mm -hmm. so what file can, are you painting on? Or what I'm layer? actually painting on the image layer, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. You could paint it on a new layer. Gotcha.
but you can see that start to become seamless already. Yeah, definitely. We'll go a little bigger. And I mean, at this point, if I wanted to add another plant in this middle part, I could, and that would become part of the pattern, oh. you know, because we've already got the dog that's gonna be just fine. Mm -hmm. when, when it's like, when you hit offset again, he's gonna be one whole dog. And then in the four corners, you'll have like yeah. whatever little new thing we draw. Oh, one whole dog again. <laughs> Yeah, we cut him in four. How cruel. I know that Bayashi is from Japan. Where's everybody else from? In the chat, let us know. Steven says, bye Shama, you are beautiful and talented. Keep up the good work. Aww. Well, she will. <laughs> yeah, guys, we have five minutes left with Shama. And then Whoa. that's it. So get your questions in, get your comments in. Let her know if you inspired her this, or she inspired you this week. <laughs> Either way. Uh, yeah, there you go. We're super excited to see what kind of work you guys made for the summer contest. Better get those uploaded by 11 p.m. tonight. Hmm, so I was doing that on the wrong layer, but it's okay, because it didn't take that long, and I can redo it on here. Cool, we got so many people in the chat. Edmonton, Canada, Netherlands, USA, Denver, Pakistan, Mexico mm -hmm. City, Japan, Denmark... Yeah, April, you have been with us all week. Really impressive. You should come back in two weeks for the video and motion graphics. Adobe Live event. Ukraine, Los Angeles, El Salvador watching from Chicago. Oh, cool. Another El Salvador, but living in New Jersey. Julian says, you are awesome. Oh. <laughs> Germany, Austria. We're in San Francisco, if that helps. All right, I think, I mean, this is basically it. You mm -hmm. would just export this file. You could save it to your camera roll or mm -hmm. bring it back. You could send it back to your Adobe desktop apps and hit Photoshop. There and you then go. you will have a seamless pattern tile. And you can continue to work on this, like in this blank area in the middle, if you wanted to add something crazy, that can become a part of yeah. your pattern. There you go. It's perfect. So. Wow, you did start to finish in two hours, even with technical difficulties. Yeah. You did well, two projects. And we, we did three because we learned how to create a GIF and how to create a sticker and, and how to do a seamless pattern. So. Chalk full. <laughs> Man. Oh, Kyle Webster's here. Bye, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. Shama, got any final words oh no that's too much pressure Bye. <laughs> <laughs> go follow her on the internet and stick around for rocky he is up next in a couple minutes stay tuned Bye. Bye.